you for coming back. In this video, I'm going to show you how I plant certified seed potatoes. The growing season is usually between February and April, and the harvest time is about 70 to 90 days. So I'm going to show you how I do it, okay? I'm going to be planting seed potatoes, certified seed potatoes. I purchased mine at Ace Hardware and I'm going to be showing you how I plant them in a container. So I have my seed potato, potatoes, I'll show you what that looks like. And I have blood meal for nitrogen, I have bone meal for phosphorus that's helping with the development of the potatoes. And then I also have seed start. I had extra laying around, so I said, you know what, I might as well use it. Extra won't help. So basically, I have my containers here. And the reason I do it in containers, I also do it in ground at the community garden. But in home, I do um, the containers just to avoid any issues with our wonderful four-legged creatures. So I have about six inches of uh, potting soil in here and compost. And I also have worm castings as well as the mushroom compost, okay? So I'll stop and show you the seed potato and how we put it in. I usually chit, C-H-I-T, I didn't curse. I usually, oh God, I gotta concentrate. I, d I usually, chit my potatoes but these certified potatoes are just growing wild in this bag that I bought and let me see if I can pull some out some of them are, are small so I'm just gonna plant them whole and by chitting the potatoes normally you would like cut it in half there's like an eye here and an eye here let me see if I could find some more Hold on a second. Where there's, um, I just want to be delicate because I don't want to break off any. Um, here's one. And I could, you know, make three or four potatoes as far as uh, seed starts to cut them in half. You have to let them heal over for a couple of days. So, um, Sorry about that. I'm just going to show you over here how I started to put them in around the circle. I'm going to add a couple of more. And then after that, you would lower, you would put another uh, layer of soil, about another two to three inches um, over it. And then you would let the leaves form. And once the leaves are about a couple of inches high, like about three to four, four inches high, you would um, hill them or put more soil on top and you would keep doing that all the way until you get to the top of this container about an inch above I mean below the the lip of the uh, rim and all of your potatoes will grow underneath this section of soil so it's a good way to have organic potatoes that have no chemicals on them and you can eat them with the skin on finally because I always had to peel my potatoes if I got it from the store. So I just wanted to show you that's a quick way to plant your potatoes and I'll go into more detail about you know the fertilizing every two weeks. They're high feeders of nitrogen and phosphorus so you want to keep them happy. All right I'm almost finished but I just wanted to show you oh gosh there's a bug in my face um five pounds red certified seed potatoes first grade 3.99 i don't represent or get anything from ace but i just wanted to tell you this is where i go best deal and you get a whole lot um, these are small in a sense so i'm not gonna break them apart i'm gonna put the rest in there and go from there so here I'm gonna finish this up and cover it up I only have one hand my ground with a tripod is unstable 
so I'll have to rig it up some kind of way next time to show you exactly all the steps that I did. But for right now, we're going to do it this way. So I just make a little hole and plant them in so they have a little stability when I put the soil over it. Now I'll just put a layer to cover it so it'll be about three inches of soil. Alright, and then I will put another um, mixture of bone meal, blood meal. What else? What else? What else? I did put worm casting worm castings as well as um, mushroom compost. Alrighty. I added more fertilizer on top and I just, once I have the top layer on, I just swirl my hand around and mix it as best as I can inside. Okay, and that's it. It's hard recording with one hand. Okay, well, I hope you found the information very informative, and I hope that you share it with your friends or any other like-minded gardeners. Um, look out for the next video, which is going to be a progression of the growth of the potato plants. This way you'll get an idea of um, how they grow, how the potatoes grow, and what to look out for. So until next time, stay abundantly rooted and grounded. Thank you.